The first thing I'm going to do if I'm using a reference to sketch is to adjust for the lens distortion. And then after that, I'm going to kind of ignore a lot of the perspective measuring guidelines and I'm just going to go by instinct and get um, an interesting sketch developed. And here I'm going to eliminate a lot from the reference because it's not really useful to get the character of the building across. When you're using a reference, it's just that. It's a reference. It's not anything more. Um, in the end, you want to create an interesting drawing and that's really up to you. You're going to discard the reference and, and be left with, with your drawing or painting or whatever it is that you're trying to create. Um, so I'm going through and grabbing sort of interesting and essential details. You know, I like the way the garage door is kind of crumbled. I like the texture. I like the um, things that kind of deviate from the norm of this building. It's got an interesting stone facade. So I want to be sure to start to get that texture in because that texture is going to kind of break up the harsh linearity of the building and make it a little bit more organic. You know, when I'm sketching, I could only use line work, um, but value helps here and there to separate and differentiate planes and make things a little more interesting. Um, you know, the windows aren't perfect. Each pane has sort of a different tone to it. There's a little uh, reflectivity. And the texture of this building, I think, is what kind of makes it the most interesting. So um, I'm going to go quickly through and add a little bit of texture here and there. I'm going to skip around and add more detail into the building and kind of figure out what these things are on the most distorted side of the reference image. And rather than use a lot of lines that are right up against each other and be subtle about it, I'm going to exaggerate here and there. Um, some of the texture and some of the the exact line work and make sure that things are overlapping properly, that um, things are projecting. And a lot of that is just giving some interest to the edges. So I'm going a little bit overboard with that just to get that across in a drawing. It's, way, it's very subtle in the photograph, but that doesn't really translate that subtlety. So bumping up that is going to help the image a lot and give it uh, a lot more character. And, you know, using some heavier line work and some darker line work um, can only accentuate that sort of idea. Um, and then to kind of push for a finish, I just want to get across any last little details, you know, like come up with a name for this store, um, put some value on the signs, push certain values down, make them dark enough, and really kind of go for a clean look for the finish. And, you know, the, the finish of a sketch is really up to you and what you're kind of going for and trying to capture. You might even have a very unfinished look to your perspective sketch, and that's totally fine. Um, after all, it is just a sketch.